If your computer is running out of hard drive space before you rush out and get a brand new hard drive, which can be expensive, hold on. Let me show you a couple of tips that you can get that valuable drive space back. Drive space back. Hey, welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Liron Segev, where I make technology simple. And it's Tuesday, which means another valuable tip. If you're new here, take a second and smash that subscribe button so you get notified when these next videos launch. And without further ado, let's get into today's tip. Okay, so let's start out. You go to your Windows 10, you go into the search bar, and you just type there, Control Panel. Click on the control panel when it pops up. And now you're looking for the bottom left where it says programs and uninstall program. Click on that. Now here you'll have your programs listed. These are all the applications that are currently installed on your computer. Now what you can do is to identify where you can save the most amount of space is actually sorted by size. If you click on the drop down arrow next to the word size, you can actually set, tell the computer to only show you uh, applications over a certain size. Or you can click on the word size itself and it will simply sort everything into size descending order. So now all you gotta do is go through the list, find the application that you no longer need and click the uninstall. Of course, be very careful, only remove items that you actually do not need. Perhaps a slightly different way of doing this is right clicking on the Windows icon on the bottom left and then choosing the word settings. Once that comes up, choose from these options, choose apps. And here all your apps that are installed will be listed and all you're going to do is you're going to go into sort and click on size. And again, you're gonna have a nice list of all your applications that have been sorted, sorted by the size. So you can choose which ones to remove. Right, next up, go to your search, type disk cleanup, disk cleanup. And then here you can select this application. And this is Windows ways of telling you which files you no longer need and how much space you'll get if you get rid of these files. Now typically these are temporary files and actually files you don't need. I like to choose the system files as well. So let it calculate everything in total. Once it does that, then I go through my list and see exactly which files I can afford to get rid of by putting a little tick on the box on the left hand side. You'll see a lot of those are things like temporary files, previously installed files, um, recycle bin stuff. And you just simply put a tick, click OK and you'll get that space back. Okay, next up, right click on your Windows Start icon and this time choose System and that's towards the top. When that comes up, on your left side, you'll see an option called Storage. Now make sure that that storage is actually on and this is Windows way of helping you out to clean out temporary files and files that you no longer need. It will do it automatically, but you gotta make sure that's obviously enabled. If you wanna see the options that it does, click into it and then make sure the boxes are actually ticked or checked. Right, next up, back to the search, and this time we're gonna type the word restore, and we're gonna select the option called create a restore point. Now what this is, it's basically a snapshot to you telling Windows, I want a copy of everything right here, right now, in case something goes wrong, and you typically do that before your next installation of something, some big update and you can revert back to this status if you need to. But you'll see that in the restore point, it actually allocates a certain percentage of your hard drive to creating these restore points. Sometimes these things are set pretty big, so I like to lower them down to kind of one, two, three or four percent of my hard drive space, and then I know that that space is allocated for my restore point and not basically a big chunk of my hard drive. So that's it. That's how you can get your valuable drive space back. All these applications are built into Windows itself, so you don't have to go out and buy additional ones. Of course, there are lots of others that you can download and it helps you with that process as well. 
Just be careful, anything that you uninstall, make sure you have the original so you can reinstall it if you made a mistake. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Tech Tip Tuesday, where I make technology simple. Cheers for now.